In this video, we'll find the formal charge for each element here in NF3. This is nitrogen trifluoride. So when we're doing formal charges, the first thing is we need a Lewis structure. So here's our Lewis structure and the formal charge. That'll tell us if this is the best or most favorable Lewis structure for NF3. So we'll take, let's look at the nitrogen first. We have a formula here. We have nitrogen. And first, we'll look at the valence electrons. So we can look on the periodic table and see that nitrogen's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It has five valence electrons. Then we subtract unbonded electrons. These electrons here, they're not between atoms. They're not involved in a chemical bond. So we have two of those. And then one half of the bonded electrons. So we have two, four, six, total of six bonded electrons for NF3. Six, we divide it by two. And we do the math here, five minus two, that's three. And then six over two, that's three. So three minus three, zero. That's the formal charge on the nitrogen in NF3. For the fluorines, we only need to do one of them since they're all the same. So fluorine on the periodic table group 17, sometimes called 7A, seven valence electrons, and then unbonded, two, four, six unbonded electrons for fluorine. And then there are just two, and this forms the bond between the nitrogen and the fluorine. Sometimes this is drawn just as a single line to show it's a bond. So we have two of those, two divided by two. So seven minus six minus one, zero. So the formal charge on each of these fluorines here, it's gonna be zero since they're all the same. So these are the formal charges for each element in NF3. Since they're all zero, this is gonna be the most likely or favorable Lewis structure for NF3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.